What's up, guys? Matthew Mouse Belts. Today we've got the last round. We've got round four. Mr. Danny with Flame Herogium, SW145MS, versus Wolborg MS with Inferno Gemios, SR200ES. Then we've got Ethan Kalbeck bringing out Thermal Pisces with Herusius. Uh, again, with a left from 105 and a. Look at this. Come on. Come on. What do I need to. What do I need to cover up to get you to go? Look at that, semi flat tip. And then we've got um, Con D. Oriano with Flame Sagittario 90 MF. And I could have very easily just turned about Flame Sagittario, but I really I want to use Sagittario too. So this is this is the most interesting round because I was talking about you know different combos and how everything is pretty interesting. Um, for the most part, I mean, there's a few things that are a bit more standard, but most things are pretty interesting here. Ryuken's the other one that's a bit, um, a bit closer to standard. But a lot of things are pretty unique. Um, this is the most unique round by far. And... I think Inferno's fun. I think this is an odd Inferno combo. I think, I think it's, it's, I think it's better to take advantage of its recoil. Though you're kind of, it's kind of the Flame Capricorn in a sense. Because it is destabilizing, it's just destabilizing itself a bit more. Then again, Flame Capricorn is also not very good against taller things, so. Oh, yeah. I think uh, Herogium's just like to get under. Oh, yeah. This is a matchup. <laughs> I don't have anything to say, it's just kind of, they're they're going at it. I think Jemios is at a big disadvantage though with Inferno. And... Oh, okay! That time it survived, it was able to stabilize at the end, okay. So it was one to one. This is an interesting match. <laughs> So I was wrong. I don't know who has the advantage. This could go either way. It's just a matter of who destabilizes who. Because this is a match of destabilization. This is not, you know, maybe it will happen. It'd be coincidence. Whoever gets launched in first will win or second will win. And whoever gets launched in first will lose. But this is a destabilization match. If Gemios destabilizes Flame Heroic from above, it's going to win. And if it's can't, it's going to lose. And just like Flame Capricorn, it gets way off balance and it uses that to get weird hits off on the opponent, which destabilizes them, though probably not this time. Yeah, it um, didn't really do much there at the end. So Flame Virgin is going to win. Come on. Oh, I got a notification. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what is that appearing over to my left? It was just a notification. My friend sent me a message. And... Oh! 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 Nope. And... Jemis is looking weaker. Oh, Jemis is gonna lose. I don't think it's gonna come back from this. It is not. So Wolborg is gonna go down. Um, this is a very this is a very, very unique combo. Very unique. Never seen anything like that before. Um, it almost kinda did what Flame Capricorn does, just not as well. I think Flame would have helped it though. Inferno's got some recoil and with a stamina tip, I'm not sure that really helped. Now we've got Ethan and Con D Oriano. This is gonna be interesting. So I've got a newer semi-flat tip, as you can see, Ethan is being aggressive, which is what uh, is needed. My other semi-flats are like not flat at the bottom, but this one is. This pink one is. I'm also not recording the entire term, I'm just recording this round, so. Winner of the- man, we uh, are already five minutes in. Winner of this will face Mr. Danny. And... Looks like Ethan's gonna take it. 
I think he even does have a bit more stamina. And Flame Sagittario. Actually, I need Ethan to win this tournament if it's not me, because, um, I got into a discussion with Swift MFB, um, about tips on the G Random Booster, and I said something about, you know, uh, a little flat. Oh, or not metal flat. Semi flat being good, and he's like, eh. So, uh, hopefully, he get. I'm gonna. Actually, I think I could probably get the flame touch turn first. Well, no, I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep launching Ethan first because Ethan did win the stamina match. I know that. That is one thing I'm not super consistent on anyway. Like, but I want to make sure I get the attack bay with an attack bay launch if I can. That's my main thing. Is it easier for me to launch attack bays inside? Not always the most. Well, no, you know what? I think it's only when it's two attack types, like pure attack types, is when I'll launch the other one in first. I think generally, if attack is in, I usually launch it in second, unless it's another attack bay. Then I will go to whoever won. Because speed can matter. Speed can matter. There's not really much of a thing about speed here, though. <laughs> and I think Ethan being a bit lower is helping. Um, I don't think Flame Share is getting amazing hits off. If Ethan wins two battles, though, he'll face Mega Turtles in a rematch. And I did. Uh, Lightning Old Drago stock versus Evil Pisces stock since, you know, energy ring battle. Um. Oh. Ethan won that just barely. I'll say if Khan Diorano won that on stamina, then I was going to launch him first this battle because I would have been wrong completely about the last one. A good battle. And that stadium out was pretty cool. This one I think is um it's okay. So flame and thermal both stamina parts. Semi flat and metal flat um aren't like high offense attack tips. I guess semi flat kinda of, I'm not sure what it's semi flat technically, it might be a more balanced tip. Um But Flame Sagittarius just barely has a bit less stamina than Thermal Hercius, and Flame doesn't have quite enough attack power to get consistent KOs. Oh, oh, it did win. Okay, Con Diorano, you did win, a, your, especially since you won out time. You are getting launched in first here. Oh, oh, oh. This is going to be a nail biter. I can already sense it. These are both pretty cool combos. I like them a lot. Small. Destabilizing, pretty good stamina, um, phase. I guess maybe they're technically both be balanced. So Ethan's not as aggressive as this is, you know, getting closer to the end of the battle. Though Sagittarius and uh, Harusius both looked to have a decent amount of stamina. This is going to come down to the wire. Can Ethan pull this one out? Oh, oh, ooh, he got under Ethan and knocked him completely off balance. So, Conti Oriano is going to move on and face Mr. Danny. Wow. What a battle. This will be pretty interesting. Oh, he just sent Metal Flat into the air. Not... I can see it, though. It's a tall bay. So he just got... He just hit the uh, SW145. You can definitely get... Some air time. So I think maybe maybe Ethan's Bay just has some pretty good defense with Simi Flat. Oh, and Thermal too, because it was not getting KO'd. Now, will Khan Oriano need three KOs, or can he win this? Um, if it's uh, a stamina match, because it disables. Destabilization against a Metal Spike Bay and the Flame Bay that's elevated is very possible. This isn't a thin spin track either, like Flame Capricorn uses, so you're probably not going to be getting the high bay to stabilizing the low bay, but I could be totally wrong. That was a thriller, that first one. It's a sign Ethan needs to use Thermal Pisces, not Hrusis. <laughs> Man, 
man, destabilized. So, it's gonna be Mega Turtles versus Con D. Oriana. So, your semi-finalists are me with Burn Cancer Left Wing 160 CS. Um, my soon-to-be mortal enemy, Earth Befall 100 WD and XX underscore MLG underscore Pingu underscore XX underscore. And then the other one is Mega Turtles, already my rival. 85 left rubber flat who's totally destroyed me and every time we face in a cbt versus condi oriano a new competitor with flame sagittarium 90 metal flat very exciting um i am naturally rooting for i guess condi oriano because i'm pretty sure i lose to the dude <laughs> i gotta beat pingu that's my goal but i'm not recording that right now <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys are excited um and yeah this is gonna be really interesting Oh, I feel like Pingu's got the advantage. I feel like I feel like this could be setting up for Mega Turtles versus Pingu, and I feel like Mega Turtles has an advantage there if that's the case. But you can't count out Condi Oriano, because if he doesn't get knocked out, he's got more stamina. And this is not as tall of a base, so there's a chance I could pull some flame Capricorn shenanigans on Pingu. We'll see. Anyway, hope you guys are all excited, and I will see you guys in the next one.